Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's with Nada here, aka Lil. What's good? What's poppin'? Welcome back to the channel, sis. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for stopping through to check Lil Gang out because you know what? We take care of our natural hair over here on a budget, okay? And save your coins, sis. And if you are coming back to check another video out of mine, Thanks, sis. I really appreciate it. You know you the real done dunna, okay? Thank you. Okay, I appreciate it. So, as you guys can tell by the thumbnail, I did the Yoni Pearls, sis. I did the Yoni Pearls, baby. And my experience was, yeah. Keep watching because you're gonna wanna know what happened with this punani. Okay, let's go. Used to like bitches with hair perm, now I like it natural, actual, factual, naps and shit, bougie still do ratchet shit. All right, guys. So if you guys are new here, or you're just watching, just because you came to check through what's up with the video, make sure you are subscribed, subscribe, subscribe down below, and thumbs up this video because clearly you like it because you clicked on it to watch it, okay? So subscribe. I'm gonna give you a couple minutes because I don't even know what the holdup is. Like, it's free 99. Free 99, and who doesn't love free 99, okay? So let me fix my hair while you do that, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get these curls right, child, because, yeah. You done? Okay, cool, girl. Welcome to Love Game. Welcome to the family. Appreciate you. Anyway, so let's get into this um, experience, all right? So before I do that and let you guys know my thoughts and opinions as well, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip of what comes in the bag of the Yoni Pearls that I um got, as well as um, me inserting the pearls, how it looks, everything. Pretty much like an unboxing of the Yoni Pearls. And I did get my Yoni Pearls from Cookie Detox, so I will put it here on the screen if you guys are definitely interested. And I'll put it on the screen here so you guys can see the Instagram page that linked me to her website so I can purchase. So if you guys are interested in trying it out, definitely check out her website, check out her Instagram so you guys can purchase as well. Just a quick thing, I did get a two cleanse. So yeah, that's that on that. So yeah, let's get into the clip so you guys can see the unboxing part, okay? Let's go. So yeah guys, so. We're going to be doing some Yoni Pearls. Yeah, Yoni Pearls. So this is what it is. Okay, I have got it from um, cookiedetox.com. I did two pearls. Yeah, I got two pearls and an applicator. Um, so they're both like this. I come two of these. Um, the card of what the Yoni Pearls are for. Information is right here, so I'm going to show you guys. It might be backwards, but yeah, I'll have a picture somewhere. And then the instructions, the applicator, and she has in this little bag that came with the pearls. I have the extra one in here. It came like um, some like light day pads and stuff like that for you to wear or whatever. And then she has a cute little business card. It looks like a little credit card, so cute. And um, hold on, let me get the little things. I'm kind of semi-vlogging style this video. And then this is the, well, what you call it, pads. So we're going to be detoxing this yoni, okay? Better known, well, better known as a vagina, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna be doing that. They have instructions on the back. So we're about to open this, um, do the little applicator thing on my jig, and insert it. So it says for instructions, unravel the strings from the pearls. Tie the three strings together. Remove the tampon applicator separately. Insert the pearls in the applicator. Um, so you gotta push it all the way up to your, to so at least it's near close to your cervix, pretty much like a tampon. And then leave for 72 hours and remove and use the pads for the next 72 hours afterwards. After this, you um, after this you can start to cleanse and then repeat for the best results. Do this back to back. Max cleanse you can do is a month cleanse. A month. 
until you can see nothing coming out. So the max, yeah, once a month is the max they say you should do it until you don't see anything coming out anymore. So yeah, I got two of them. That's why, well, that's why I got two of them. So we're gonna be doing this. My background's a little different. I'm at my besties house. I'm here in Charlotte. I helped her move yesterday, so that's the reason why. I'm out here <clears throat> and we have a different background. So we are going to get these unraveled and because I can't un like unravel it with one hand and show you guys it's probably gonna be very difficult so we're but so it's Sunday Monday Tuesday so I have to keep this in until Tuesday and then after that so Tuesday Wednesday Thursday well we have Tuesday no Wednesday Thursday Friday so there's a whole week process then we'll do the ooh if y'all hear my belly excuse that okay I'm hungry it's the morning okay but yes yeah, so I'll be purging and doing my purging project up to the end of the week so yeah, I gotta make sure my husband's up one game. Like, no, 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 but not okay? I hope y'all can see me. I hope it's bright enough. It's lighting right now, it's not that good. Maybe it's like a pound the other light. Maybe it's a little better. Let me move this little bad boy. So, we wanna take out one of these yoni girls. The direction is also on here, too. On the side, on the side. And they're individually packed. Let me get back so y'all can see. They're individually packed, which is a good thing. And then this is a little tampon thing. I'm trying to fill this side. Okay, this side has the handle. You know what? This noise is going to be hella loud. So let me try to turn this off and try to get the best of that. So this is the applicator. It's a little bit bigger than a tampon so it can hold the curls. Hold on. That's what it looks like. But it looks like a pretty much a tampon but it's a little wider because it has to hold these curls so we're gonna take each one of these out Ooh. okay this is what it looks like so i'm going to unravel all of these oh lord i'm going to unravel all of these My hands is clean, and this is what it looks like. <sighs> yes, I'm a little nervous, y'all. So I'm gonna get all three of these together and put them in the applicator. So I'm trying to get them in a grid, trying to do it in a gradient situation so that it kind of um, don't get stuck together. Because if I tie them too tight, like it probably will not go through the hole. So I'm trying to get them in like a gradient way so that when I put it in, oh lord. This is so awkward. I'm gonna be so awkward. All right. Okay, so I finally got in here after God knows how long, trying to get the freaking thing into the hole. The strings and holes is the process, but whatever. So I got it in here, so it looks like this. So all I'm going to do is just stick this in here and then, yeah, <laughs> let the process begin. Okay. okay, yeah, guys, I got it in. <clears throat> it don't feel like nothing in here. I just have a string dangling on my panani. But yeah, it don't feel like nothing. So I'm just gonna wear light days in case something kind of oozes out. So yeah, just, I'll keep you posted. All right, now that you guys have watched the whole unboxing and everything, let's get into my day one, two, and three, okay? So day one, when I entered the Yoni Pearls, I felt a little bit of cramping. That was my first little experience I got of in, after inserting them was a little bit of cramping. It wasn't too crazy. It was like um, period cramps, just the beginning stage of your first day of your period, just a little cramping. For me, that's how I um, feel on my first day of my period. I just have light cramps, not too heavy or nothing like that. It's not about to kill me, right? It's just light cramping. So that's what I experienced. And to tell you the truth, I've watched a couple other videos. So that's what kind of enticed me to really buy the pearls to begin with. And I've listened to other people's experiences and I did hear that they did have experienced some cramping. So I felt like it was normal. And I did experience a lot of wetness, honey. I had that wop. Okay, I had the wop on point. Okay, when I insert the pearls, it was just automatic flowage all right and like i told you in the video i did went ahead and said i'm going to just go ahead and wear the liners throughout the whole process you don't really have to wear the liners until after 
you're done with the pearls and the energy of purging um, part, but I decided to actually wear it through the whole process because I don't know what I'm gonna experience and I just didn't want it to be all over the place, okay? So yeah, that was in my day one, okay? So now we're in day two and for me, for real, it was a little annoying with the string hanging out my punani and I just can't yank it out. It was just some getting used to right the shower everything like that so it was real some getting used to so that was the annoying part of it but I experienced a little bit of discharge it was like a little yellowish tint color to it it was just white but a little yellowish tint um I and it smelled a little bit like yeast so I was like maybe some yeast discharge you know what I'm saying maybe a little yeast coming through and I was like okay okay the pearls is working because if you bought buy something you expect for it to work so you know i'm low-key excited like hey pearls is working i'm getting my money worth you know what i'm saying so i was like a little excited about that but at least the odor wasn't like overpowering or anything like that it was just a light smell of yeast and that's what i've seen coming out it wasn't like oh it was all day it was just like stop and go like i have a little discharge there whatever I change out the liner maybe a few hours later maybe I'll have a little discharge there but it wasn't nothing throughout the day was on stop and go it wasn't just like a whole hour straight I'm just having discharge of yeast or whatever okay so that was pretty much my day two um and I did start to experience a little irritation it wasn't too crazy just a little irritated because I think I was just like the string and everything it was just a lot going on down there so I was like, yeah, sis, I'm ready to yank this out now because once I feel the irritation coming on, I think I know what that is. And I wasn't excited about getting that, okay? So yeah, it's, it's, it's not what's up for me, okay? But day three came around. So day three, I was like, hallelujah, time to take these things out because sis, the irritation was on max by day three, okay? Irritation was on max by day three. It was just light on day two. It was coming on. It was just like, you know, let me teeter totter, teeter totter, teeter totter. But it came through strong on day three. Like, sis, I need you to take these things out of me and let me release and have some breather because. I know it's a little TMI, but I don't wear panties like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't wear panties like that. Panties be, is worn with the jeans. Panties is worn with um, maybe working out. You know what I'm saying? Certain things. But otherwise than that, sis, we are free out here. We're just, you know what I'm saying? Let the wind blow. Just, just yeah, spread your wings and fly out here. We need to catch air. You know, we have to, we have, to have regular breaths on a regular okay so it was already a lot down there for the fact i was wearing drawers the whole time okay and then the irritation hit real strong on day three so i was like girl i think i got a yeast infection <laughs> girl i think i got a yeast infection so i was just like baby what's up <laughs> what's going on but i did watch a couple of videos that it does kind of set off your ph balance so i was like okay and for me i used to experience a lot of uh uh, yeast infections and uci back in the day i just don't know why my ph be all all over the place so i knew what was happening before it started to happen when i felt the irritation coming on in day two and i was like girl baby I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling this because I wanted to feel the cleanse and feeling good, refreshed. Bonani is just like, woo, girl, you clean me out. What's up? What's up? But no, honey. No, 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 no. I had a whole yeast infection. I was like, God, have mercy. <laughs> Why I had to be the one it happened to, though? Why I had to be the one it happened to? I was really trying to, I was rooting for no pH off balance. But of course, my Punani had to be the one. So, I had to get the medication on deck. But, I will show you guys what I used after I insert the clip of day three, taking out the pearls so you guys can see what came out of me. So, yeah, let me go ahead and add that right now. Okay, guys, so it's day three. I 
I'm going to take the pearls out. So, yeah, I look crazy. Don't mind that. I'm going to take this bad boy out and see if anything actually comes out. I got my gloves, my paper towel, if anything that does come out so I can inspect and show you guys what it looks like. Because I've seen a lot of videos where people had a lot of stuff coming out and they kind of showed and I want to show it. So, yeah, let me go take this stuff out because I'm a low key irritated and um, I'm a little nervous about that. <laughs> So, yeah, let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I finally took them out. They do have a little bit of stuff on them, so I'm about to show you guys right now. Every time I take stuff like this is gross. Don't look. It's not crazy, but if you don't like that type of stuff, exit out right now. Don't look. Okay? So let's see what it looks like. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like. I have gloves on, so this is the stuff that's on it. I don't know if that's like yeast or whatever. A little tissue there. Oh, I didn't get the camera right. So, this is what it looks like. And I don't know if the brownish stuff is from um, the after effects of my period. Because I did have my period. And I did it like maybe two, three days after my period. Let me get the camera right. So, y'all yeah, can really see. So, this is what they look like. This one really has stuff all over it. But this is what came on or came off. This came off. Just like little, I don't know, it's probably like yeast or something. Is I did like, felt like I had like a smell of a like kind of a yeastish kind of smell. So it wasn't crazy, but. It just smelled like, okay, like a little yeast-ish type of situation. So, yeah. That's what came out. So, we'll see what happens for the rest of the week, y'all. So, let's get it. Okay, so now that you guys seen what came out of me, I think that was just pretty much yeast. Like, from what I had in the discharge on day two, nothing too crazy. But yeah, I didn't experience a lot of what other people experience from watching their videos. I'm not shocked about it or disappointed. I'm just like, whatever. I'm low-key happy a lot and nothing really crazy came out of me. I just don't like the fact that I got a whole yeast infection, okay? I had to get that fluke in, okay? A little prescription, because I keep those on deck. And I had to get my little um, VH Essentials on deck with the little probiotics. If you guys can see that. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. That's what it looked like right there. And I had to get my good Azo on deck, y'all. You know, I don't play about my Panani. Mm -mm. I don't play about her. Once she's not right, I'm not right. And I don't like to be in here, you know what I'm saying, itching happen i don't like none of that the irritation down there is no joke okay if you ever gotten a um yeast infection as a female girl you know what i'm talking about if you have not gotten one in your whole entire life god has blessed you highly favored on you highly favored you've never experienced any of that see me i have definitely experienced i don't know why i have like ph balance issues but these are some real good over-the-counter drugs if you ever experience a yeast infection and need some help with that girl because if you got a punani like me that the bh gets off sometimes yeah that will help a whole lot and so by the time i got my dad fucking girl we was in business like the process was starting to get better so with all of that then we have to get into the purging so day three is done now i make trying to wait on the purge because it says like three days later so this is technically a whole week process yeah like a week process or so so yeah so after we had our little three days or whatever we have another little three days for the purging so I'm waiting I'm waiting I didn't get no purge on the first day the second day I think a little stuff came out but it wasn't crazy I really it's nothing that I could catch 
and say, hey, let me film it for you guys. Let me show you guys. Let me take a picture. It was nothing like that. I wiped myself. There was nothing really there. I think if it's like I peed and whatever was in the toilet. So I kept looking in the toilet after I peed. And I really didn't see too much anything. Like, you know, I didn't see nothing. Maybe a little drops of white stuff, but that was it. So I don't know if it's like the leftover yeast that was inside of me that needs to come out. But probably because I did experience a yeast infection. So it probably was a lot going on and me taking my prescription and was like yes sis we gotta get this working maybe that's what happened but nothing else came out of me by friday i was good like like sis i was done the purging was supposed to be done nothing else came out of me from the time i took the pearls out when i wiped myself nothing came out i was like okay okay sis i'm Kind of, I was low key a little disappointed because I was like, okay, I'm waiting for the purge because maybe it's the pearls that was, you know what I'm saying? That was all that came out. Maybe a little extra stuff will come out. But nothing came out. But I think I should be happy about that because that means we all good up in here in the hood. You know what I'm saying? We all good up under here. So I was happy that she was done and nothing came out. And yeah, because girl. That process is a lot. <laughs> that process is a lot from my experience. It was a lot for me. For a lot for her. Let's just say that. She, she had a lot going on down there. So, because she had a lot going on, girl had me stressed out, honey. Because, like I said, if she's not right, I'm not right up here. So, yeah. <laughs> okay? Yes. Period. But, so with that being said, let's get into my final thoughts. What would I do this again? Would I not do this again? Do I recommend it? Let's just say this. I'm not gonna say do not try it. I'm all about the vagina health. Get your punani right, sis. If you wanna, I've used the steam before. I never had a problem with it before, so I may just continue to use the steam versus using the pearls because I do have another cleanse um, that I can use. But with the experience that I had with having a whole yeast infection, sis, I don't know. I'm about to keep it in two days and she got to go. I can't keep it in the whole three days. It's just not going to work for me because she said you could do it once a month and back to back. I just do not know about that again because that was not it. I do not like having anything going on wrong down there at all. But if you want to try it, like I said, I'm all about the vagina health, power of the vagina. Get your vagina right, get your punani right, and try it if you want to. I'm not gonna say not to do that. Um, what you experience is all gonna be different and it's all gonna vary for different women, as you guys can tell from watching YouTube, because you clearly click on this video because other people have other experiences and you watch other videos. But yeah, everybody's different. Everybody's punani is different. And mine was definitely different. And I just don't know about going through a yeast infection again, period. I don't know about that. So, I, um, yeah. I really bought it for like fertility purposes to make sure everything is good up and through there. So, that's one of the reasons why I purchased it. So, now that I know that nothing came out and everything's good up in there, you know, I'm happy about that. So that was a really good thing for me. But as far as like doing it again, girl, I don't even know. I do not know. So all I can say, guys, is try it at your own risk. Make sure you have your meds on deck just in case you have a little pH balance situation because you're gonna need it okay if you have virtual doctor in your insurance you might need it you might need to hit up the minute clinic get your prescription right because you might need it just in case you have a ph balance situation off there okay so yeah with that being said guys that is my experience with the yoni pearls like i said everybody's experience is different definitely give it a try if you would like to i'm not gonna say not to try it i'm just gonna say for me i don't know if i'm gonna do it again i don't know if i'm gonna utilize my next my other um pearl or not because um yeah i didn't like how my ending results was so yeah i don't know i can't say a no but i just don't know right 
but yeah guys that was pretty much it i didn't want to make the video extra extra long so guys until next time first of all first of all hold on hold on hold on, hold on. before we wrap this video up okay make sure you hit the subscribe button down below because i know y'all be watching my videos and you dead don't be subscribing that's just phony like that's phony and i don't know how you're gonna be so phony to me like i love y'all from the <laughs> from the bottom of my heart i love y'all and y'all being real phony i'm not with that like i'm not with that mm -mm. Mm -mm. uh uh sis you need to subscribe because it's free 99 and you you know you want to join low gang and it is popping over here because we save our coins sis all of the coins we can get we save so make sure you join okay and now let's close it out until next time guys kisses from me to you bye